Hello everyone, we are back with more Final Fantasy VII. I am Omega Zero, and as you can see, we are over by Costa del Sol. This is mainly because I want to show off to do this one tiny little thing. You see, this hotel that we went to earlier to loot because we could, because you know, it's a video game, uh, we could actually buy it if I remember correctly. And I'm going to buy it just because I can. Because I want to show you guys something. So what do you want to do? Talk to this giant dove. Yep. But Villa Cloud. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, fluffy bed. Can I lay on this foot? Yeah, now this place is mine. Uh, I just wanted to show this off because I could buy it. <laughs> like, I now own a villa. Uh, this guy's asleep. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to show that up. And the reason I want to show this up is because you're wondering why we're hacking in Costa del Sol right here. Because, yeah, look at this! Wow! Yeah, I did a lot of writing. And it was not for naught because check this out. Mastered Lightning, Mastered Fire, Mastered Ice, uh, Ramuz, not that good, but... Uh, Master Store, Master it all, and we just got all in on this. Look at this. Now, this is mainly due to me grinding the absolute freak out of um, the place in Junon Harbor where you fight those like disc two, like disc three enemies, and it's ridiculous. And due to that, uh, let's check this out. Um, so, for example, we I mastered so much material that I've actually gotten to a point where. Um, I've had like multiple copies of the mastered materia, like, like obviously some exceptions, and just arrange it all so it looks nice and pretty. Um, so yeah, let's get going. So yeah, uh, how about you guys feel about us steamrolling the game for the rest of the time now? Eh, where'd it go? Why are, why are you bored? Would you fight too much? Yeah, but fighting all the time gets boring. Trust me, I did this for hours. Um, now that we're on here, I'm going to switch out some characters. Uh, we're going to switch out to Whisker of Barrett. And yeah, I've gotten everyone to like limit level 3s and all of that. So now I'm going to actually have to actively go out of my way to get a character's limit, uh, level limit 4. But uh, yeah, if you hear this little tink, uh, that's my fault. I have no idea why this happens. Uh, I think I have the character's better weapons at this point. Let's check. Uh, yeah, uh, well, Atomic Scissors does more, but it's a better one. I already have the long range weapon, and what does Barret have for materia? Earth? Well, we don't have a lot of everything completed, but as you can see, um, uh, we're gonna give Cloud the steel materia. Wait, hold up. Hold up, who has the steel materia? Steve, I have it? No, let's manipulate. Sense. For 13 hazard. There we go. Because there, there's a reason why you want steel. And I forgot we also are going to need to put something else on. Oh gosh, this little pinking thing is like annoying, annoying. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is that we're actually going to try and fight an enemy. That can, I believe, can only show up if we, if because it's a rare encounter. But it's not this, I believe. At least I don't think so. No, nope, it's not these. Uh, let's show off Barrett's uh, new level 3 limit. Unless he gets a stupid... Okay, club. Check out uh, Anger Max. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, rapid fire mode. Turn on. Turn, turn up. <laughs> but yeah, I have so much material like... This is just me having fun now at this point. We're, we've broken the game up. Well, not completely yet. Uh, let's ride over this, because I believe this is how you get to encounter the enemy. I'm not sure. No, this is not the enemy. Run away! Pretty sure you can encounter him here, and if I'm wrong, I will probably be wrong. Unless we have to get out of this. Let's see. It might be that reason, but I doubt it's that reason. I have the chocobo on and all that, so let's see, let's see. Come on, show up! Because this enemy is supposed to show up with the chocobo, and thus we can manipulate it, and thus do better. Okay, is this... Uh, no, 
no. I feel malicious today. We're gonna kill the joke though. <laughs> hey, what's good? Wow. Man, how much health does the joke about have? Does it have infinite health? Because that was well over a thousand. But it might not be here. Uh, hold up. We're in the gold saucer area. FF7. I miss him. And I'm gonna have to center the frig out of all this because of. Okay, where is this enemy show up? It's in North Corral. Passes through North Corral as part of the story to the world map on the Gold Saucer area. It's a rare RB is a rare formation with Chopo literature rare with the RB and Chopo the Chopo is a rare one. Okay, so we're actually gonna try it and it says we're in the Gold Saucer area. So let's see uh, if we can get it. Uh, I'm just coming over the tracks and yes I am just going. Okay. Hey! There it is! The Chopo is irrelevant. What we need to kill or to, let's see if we can manipulate. Hey, manipulate heartbeat. Uh, I need you. To... Oh, oh, we can hurt itself. Uh, I actually need you to hit us with Aqua Lock, and we learned it. Well, we learned it on one of the enemy skills. Now I just noticed that. Friggin' A. Materia! Uh, where you still need to keep that on? Where's our second enemy skill? Uh, it's not on Tifa. Uh, frig. <laughs> I wanna get along with the story. Here I am screwing up. Alright, is it Aerith? No. Tifa? No. Thir Red the Ten. Ah, give it to Barry. And we're gonna try this again. Hopefully, he does this group. Yeah, I think it was probably like the buggy that was messing up with the story progression and all that. Hey, there we go. We're gonna try and manipulate it again. Hey, now we got this stupid thing out here. Hey, I'm gonna need. Gosh dang it. Hit us with it. Uh, here, how's Aqualong from me do to you? Oh, a lot. And as you can see, we I have a lot of money because those enemies that I was fighting earlier, oh boy, they drop a lot of money. And when you're trying to master a bunch of material over and over, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of money. So I had almost a million gil. And guess what? I still haven't gotten that achievement where you get a ton more gil. Where it's necessary to. Uh, here, this is. If I lose that attack, thank you, game. It's this thing again. Uh, and it's gone. <laughs> okay, what we do now is that we get out. Well, we can, but we're actually gonna. Well, actually, we do have to get out, and we're gonna walk here. And the reason I put the steel material on earlier is because we are supposed to run into... Yeah! <laughs> the Turks, I love these characters. I love them, especially in the movie. And they're just talking about dude things and Tifa. And that's like... But poor Lena, she... You. Nope, she likes saying. Ah, oh, we're just learning all the romance here. What are they talking about? Oh, hey! <laughs> we're just right here. <laughs> we're really right here. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll do my job. Hmm, though. 
if you uh, have uh, Tifa with you in the party, uh, yeah, if you have Tifa in your party, Rude will actually not attack her. So, ow, we're gonna try to steal, and he has Turk Light. Nothing to steal from them. Huh, they usually have something to steal from each other. Uh, let's try to steal something from you. Nothing to steal. Um, okay then, you guys, uh, welcome to die. And you see I got more enemy skills on the, uh, for Bear, that second one we got, because there is four in the game, and it's actually difficult to get the other two. This effort, though, is massive. So I can cast it five times, I believe. And the more points you put into it, the more damage it does. And the Turks are not all that tough. Not at all. Because we're going to drop like 2,000 damage on them, like right here. Or something like that. <laughs> Maybe we retreating, but we're still victorious. And really is like... <laughs> yeah, this is like... Uh, yeah, overleveled much? Um... Usually there would be stuff to steal here from the Turks, but I think that I might be thinking of later missions. Uh, but if, hey, if you defeat them, I believe you take uh, X Potion and Fairies. I think that's all stat for Earth to wield. Yeah, we really don't want to think about spies. But, eh, that was an easy fight. Granted, I'm over leveled as heck. Then again, like, Barret's pretty low level, because I always have people with me. So, every, everyone in your party gains experience, but they don't just gain a, a, the same level of experience as you get. Alright, let's see. What the fuck? I'm processing this real quick. Okay, time to murder. It's a triceratops grafted onto wheels for like a tank what the hell is this who are these people was this shinra's doing like what the heck oh was that the chocobo lord i believe that leveled up let me see i think it was because it was for barrett yeah chocobo lord leveled up because cover was pretty much good already okay uh and we run if i was attacked by enemies we would run over there and we counter whatever the hell this thing is and let's just run Run! Like, I'm over leveled to this point. It's like no fun. Hey, we got the factory music. Is this a defunct factory? Oh, it's a ruined reactor. Let's see. Uh oh. I hear helicopter. Scarlet and uh, Sang. Kind of weapon developed in Shinra. <laughs> you only get chunky material from junky reactors. Hmm, yeah, because it's ruined. What do you think, you frick? I just can't wait. Sorry, I was reading something. I just got. I need to learn to also let people read. It's like that's a problem with me. I read stuff very quickly. So even though I was like, I just big, harsh, huge material. What the weapon? What is it? A keyblade? A dragon ball? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh no. Like technically, there is a crossover. Maybe you can say it's a parallel timeline where Kingdom Hearts interfered with Final Fantasy VII. Even though that uh, Avalanche saves the world, but still goes on Zeno Spree. Um, but yeah, while you're over here, uh, there's something shiny in the back. You reach for it and you get the Titan Materia. Uh, let's show that off, why don't we? Uh, I know you're attached to Ifrit and all that, but it's time to show off Titan. Huh. Ironically enough, I watched Megamind the other day. Hmm. And then we're gonna run all the way back, and then we'll show off Titan if we encounter enemy enemies. Hey, is it thanks, Ceratops? Hey, it is. Uh, Tifa, we're going to summon the power of Titan. Let's see what this does. I want to see Anger of the Land. Whoa, this guy is 
beefy. Jesus. Jack, what the hell? He flipped the bad. He flipped him over so hard he came back. And there's him. Uh, visual appealing, I mean, I feel like if for in Shiva I have more visual appeal, and I'll show off Ramu too. Wait, didn't I get myself Ramu? Uh, I thought I did. Hmm. Meh. Anyways, uh, the reason I was mastering a bunch of materia is for later things where we can get more mastered materia. Anyways, you head down to the left instead of the right. And then you first though, you want to go here and get the death blow materia. One of my personal favorites, but it's also pretty stupid. Because of the way it works, in my opinion. Hey, uh, what's up with here? Oh, wait, 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 I know who I need to grab. Be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I need to go grab someone. Do, 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 do. Oh, gosh, if you're what the heck is this? What the heck was that? I, I I don't think I've ever seen that enemy. Or I probably have, I just don't remember it. Anyways, we go back to the village. And there's a reason why we're here. And even though you can see the ruined reactor in the background, it's probably an indicating like, huh, you maybe should you maybe you should go there. But you just kind of want to go into random people's houses. Let's go into this one. It's not every day you get random people just walking into your houses. Yeah, I'm in soldier. Uh-oh. Final Fantasy 7 and seen any of the supplemental material. Ooh, you know who Zack is. Anyways, uh, you'll be partying with your two teammates and you want to go talk to each of these people. Uh, the reason you bring them here is for the extra cutscenes and all that, but let's talk to Tifa. No, I don't know him. Yeah, when you stutter like that, it makes you seem obvious that you're lying. You know that, right? Like, see, even Cloud calls it out. I'm pretty sure like everyone thought Soldier is pretty badass because everyone thinks working for Shinra is pretty alright. I, uh, I you don't say if you want to get that where I say I worked hard for it. Hard work pays off, huh? Anyways, yeah, you just want to go check up on each of the characters, and obviously you want to go check up on Aerith, because well. Maybe you never heard of him. Dude's missing. Mm -hmm. It's five years ago. He went on a job and never came back. Hmm, maybe he eloped with a different girl. I don't know, according to Final Fantasy, uh, according, I don't know who else he could have been because according to Team War Star, apparently Aerith has the butt. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't even think about that. Uh. What's wrong? I want to say poor guy because, like, like poor guy is like, oh, he left Aerith. Maybe he actually died or something like that. Like, I don't know if that was the correct choice or not, because that was another choice you say along with Tifa, where you say, I worked hard for it, and she feels more appreciative of you for saying that. Like, oh, you worked hard to get where you're at, even though she probably doesn't believe you. Anyway, let's go to people's houses. You can hear, I believe you can also, this is another town where you can listen to people's stories and all that. And let's hear a story. 
built a reactor without even thinking about the town saving, and this is the result. Okay. Let's see what you got, little man. Okay, nothing I want. Uh, cornucopia, though, I believe that cures many, but you don't see many that often from the enemies. Now I look at it. Uh, lady. Uh, let's hear this. Here's, uh, hear your story. We voted to outlaw the use of makeup energy to live with nature ever since the explosion. What caused that explosion? Because we don't know what caused it. I'm pretty sure it was probably just, you know, typical, uh, that happens with explosions and all that. Anyways, uh, here we can buy some more materia. We'll buy Mystify. We'll probably die too. Uh, buy two time magic materia and one, two more heal. There we go. Let's get out of here. Just go into people's houses. This is RPG. It's not illegal to just walk into some random people's houses in an RPG. <laughs> or steal their crap. White megaphone. That's for Kachi. This is a Gungaga village. Many people died here in a mega reactor explosion. Is that it? The uh, Shimmer people told uh, the sh that everyone would be happy when Shimmer was built, but it was all bronze with sadness. Uh, anything else? No? I thought you would tell us what caused it. I don't, do they tell you what causes the explosion? Anyways, uh, go into this person's house. Uh, talk to this guy. You need something? Uh, let's hear a story. You think you guys would clean that up? Uh, explosion. Okay, so this is our inn, we got our items, I think that's it, for uh, Gongaga Village. Pretty short area, pretty cool. Eh? Like a little backstory, you find out this is Zach's hometown, it's a really tiny hometown, now that you look at it. Anyways, we're here. <laughs> no! The frogs died. <laughs> you cannot be allowed to leave. <laughs> Um, yeah, really, really short episode, not really much going on in terms of action, but I wanted to show that off because it is technically, like, I think I believe, is it optional? Because you really don't have to go out of your way to get to that little spot. It's not necessary or anything, but, uh, let's go through here. Uh, no, Earth, we don't need that. Oh my gosh, uh... Screw it, we're gonna do magic. Let's do a fire three. We have gone to the point where we have the same magic tier as Sephiroth, and we're only slightly stronger than he was when we first met. Um, but hey, there's a little house over here. You go over to this little tiny house. Well, you get out of the house. The buggy. And there's no one here. So, we'll come back to that house later. Frig! Oh, nothing we can do about it now. I believe we can come back to there later, but it's not until a bit later in disc one that we can actually do that. And I know I keep saying like disc one, disc two, and all that. That's because this game was broken up to like three different discs. Like yeah, I believe disc one is chasing the Sephiroth part. Disc two is I believe just primarily breaking back into Midgar, and disc uh, three is like your typical Final Fantasy saving world and all that. And I was Hey, just blow it. Uh, that's how we do. Take three times speed off. Yeah, that's the only problem with this game. Like, I do, I like the add the uh, three times speed, so that way we don't have to sit through like the long animation. I can show this off. Now, if I was going to record for a long period of time, though, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to subject you guys to that. Let's just sit here waiting and dealing with this. Let's just uh, show off the different ice. We showed off fire. We show have to show off ice. Just look at that. We're doing over 2,000. We're doing more than like beta and alpha lock at this point. And that's the that's like why you want to max out your your materia. Um, like you do end up doing more damage than like the traditional like super hit all moves at this point. Anyways, we'll run around in the buggy, and you can see uh, it's growing red. And we're going to drive, 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 drive. And I'm going to counter enemy here if we can try to show it off. Now, you can go through these areas. Uh, let's see. Can I manipulate? Yeah, I see something on top of that cliff, but it looks like we can't get to it because you can't bug buggy up cliffs. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Friggin' A. Um, let's just hurry up and use these because I pressed that by accident. Let's just hurry up and use these because I don't like this. Uh, finish the touch. It basically is just instant kill, uh, right away. 
I did not want to use God mode right there. I was trying to adjust the camera again. Because I remember, like, oh, was it... Hold up, was it this? Yeah. Yeah, you had to move it. I was moving it and I pressed it. Anyways, you want to drive around the buggy. And... No, no, no! Yeah, I'm friggin' any stupid buggy. Broke down. Why right now, always? But hey, uh, at least it broke down near somewhere. Uh, but was this area? Hmm. We'll have to find out uh, next time, everyone. My name is Omega Zero, and I will catch you all later.